Nine unanswered points by the Mercury. The lead back to double digits. And a nice finish underneath by Ruthie. 30 seconds to go in this one. Birch in trouble. Ruthie Hebert's not going to miss from there. Here's Evans with it inside. And a nice move there. Strong post up by Ruthie Hebert. Well, and that time they cleared that defensive board and allowed them to get out and score quickly. Hebert with a strong right-handed move. The Oregon Ducks says, and one. And Mabry with the two fouls could not go in there and try to disrupt Sammy in the fast break situation. And this is where Seattle tends to get momentum is yep. after a, a transition bucket. Hebert the runner, and what a game. Jewel has it. Attacks, loses handle the basketball, turnover on Seattle. That's their 18th of the game. Evans, three ball. No, Jewel with the board. Come up empty in terms of points. Smith's in trouble. Finds Ruthie Hebert, who has checked in. She gets her first points off the bench. Lana Smith was scrambling to get back to her. She took advantage of her. Here's Hebert. This is an important time here for both of these teams. We had a nice little run at the end of the first quarter, but it's been the Storm responding with a run in the last two minutes of the second quarter. Ruthie Hebert has been something off the bench. I'll tell you what. To start the fourth, Ruthie Hebert's going to start the fourth. Body bucket and one. Well, right now, a line of Alana Smith to get extended a break on the bench. Hebert came over to help. No call. Blocked from behind by Hebert. Watch the block from behind by Ruthie Hebert. The sky were off to the races. Five left for Courtney Williams. Dumps it down low. Hebert finishes. In the standings, if these scores remain the same and Mabry hoists the three, drops it down. It's been a three-point party. Especially has some success against, like you just mentioned, those fans that came to see her. Robin Parks has had some success today. 14 points. Four or five from three. Career highs. Oh, what a block from Ruthie Heber. That got the bench up. And it's going back to the sky. Mercury rising right yeah, now. Okay, yeah. And starting to find some wins, and they might squeak into that eighth playoff spot. A Ruthie Heber who got her career high versus Dallas back in 2020. 21 for Chicago. Also checking in Ruthie Heber. From the outside, that is Parks Hebert. Happy birthday, got it. Ruthie has brought her son to the game. But that win and the way they did it decisively had to give them the confidence. And I was here Sunday as Williams hits that shot. The Tonsevere told us before the game, you know, they might have been a little tired. Those two wins against Dallas, he played very physical. Win. Dolson with the handoff to Laney. Now inside to Stewie, five to shoot. Stewie, great defense there by Hebert. Tenacious D there as Evans gets around. John Quill Jones gets it to Hebert. And Hebert gets the friendly roll as the shot clock expires. Seen this all night long. Chicago Sky cut into the lead. And then the Liberty extend as Hebert gets that one to go. Copper finds her. Because I love Scott uh, Scott Kahn. You only watch shows that you love, you love the characters for. Ruthie Hebert steps in, steals, and lays it up and in. <laughs> Speaking of Dwayne Wade, we'll talk about him a little later. Williams couldn't get that to go. Hebert trying to beat the clock and does. And they're going to count it. Great. Recognition and pass by Jewel Lloyd. She's always going to attract a lot of attention. That time, beautiful feed. Two reserves connecting. Dana Evans finding Heber. Uh, show a little passion, show a little emotion. Try to snap this five game losing skid. Melpin takes it inside, and again, Chicago taking it away. She's in trouble. Kia Nurse, excellent help side defense. 
Dana Evans thinking about pulling the trigger, looking for Ruthie Heber, turns and fires. Ruthie with five points off the bench. Maybe something to build on. There'll be a tough test coming up on Thursday <laughs> yes. against the Aces. Good pass, Evans. Finding Ruthie Heber. Teacher talking exactly about her defense. Seven point advantage for the Sky. Looking to upset the number one team in the league. Ruthie Hebert has her first point, hunting down her first field goal. 0 for 3 to begin with. Post touch, Hebert up and over. How about a 13? In the lane that time, because he'd have been about the only one that could catch that in the building. <laughs> Sitting courtside here in the first half. Mabry for three. That would have given the Sky the lead. Hey, Courtney Vandersloot, I don't think it's enough credit for her activity on the defensive end. You said an activity. She's got active hands, quick hands, and great defensive instincts as well. New York created resistance on the defensive end, and it flowed right into their offense, and that's how they got this lead. And their last win already clinched a top two spot or seed in the playoffs at home. This is Ruthie Hebert inside, shot too strong. The Fever have not seen her this year. Hebert on a second effort gets it to go. Created a lot of separation here. Hard shot takes the three, gets inside and can't finish. But it fell right into the hands of Hebert. Was it off in time? They'll count it, but they'll check. And a four of 13 from the three-point line. This has been the league's best three-point shooting team They're over their last eight games. They've shot it so much better from the three-point line. That 21 points per game, leading the Lynx, an all-star of the season, best year of her career. Ruthie Hebert in the game now, and that substitution paying dividends right away. Collier first to double figures with 10 points in this game. Oh, Evan, stay patient there. Nice pass. Now let me tell you, she comes down, she gets the screen, she shoots the shot. Evans negotiating her way through traffic. Hebert has four seconds, a pump fake with two seconds, and drops that down against Juhas. We've had the most impressive in-season turnaround of any team this year. They're trying to get back above 500, blocked down low by Ruthie Hebert. With just one remaining game on the schedule after today. Hebert had space, knocked it down. She was talking about how usually this time she's crawling. They're trying to fight to see if they're going to make it, make it in. And, and it's booking flights and all that. Right, and now. Season. Jackie Young going on Copper. And here's Sydney Colson. Colson hung up there, turnover. Washington joined that company by the end of the season. But Dallas is a team that a lot of hoop talkers and WNBA followers are very intrigued by in terms of the matchup problems that they pose with their Twin Towers. If Arike Agumboale has a hot hand, oh, oh, watch out. One of the best scorers in the league. And talk about those Twin Towers. They hit the glass really hard, especially for second chance points as that one zipped from Evans. Behind the back to Stokes, one more, it's to Young. Jackie Young gets denied by Hebert and knocked out of bounds off of Stokes.